The former Speaker of the House of Commons was forced to resign after a scandal that saw an SS soldier recognized in this place last September during President Zelensky's visit. I want to read a few quotes made about the former Speaker during the period that led to his resignation. I can't see, based on the conversations I've had, how he can continue to have the support of Liberal members of Parliament, said the Liberal House Leader, in calling for the Speaker to resign. What happened on Friday is completely unacceptable. It was an embarrassment to the House and Canadians, said the Foreign Minister. Yet last week, after months of denial, written evidence evidence in an email came to light that the Prime Minister did, in fact, invite the same SS soldier to a government reception in Toronto. So where is the same condemnation for the Prime Minister from those cabinet ministers and Liberal MPs who threw the former Speaker under the bus? The Prime Minister and his office are guilty of the exact same sin as the former Speaker, and because he is, he deserves the same punishment for embarrassing our nation once again. Like the Speaker before him, the Prime Minister needs to resign. The contemplation of resignation by an individual driven by strong moral values, accountability, and leadership integrity. Drawing parallels between Justin Trudeau's involvement in a past scandal and that of a former chairman, the focus is on personal responsibility and accountability. It suggests that if guilt is found in both cases, resignation becomes necessary to uphold the importance of leaders maintaining the nation's reputation and restoring public trust. The significance of authenticity and truth is highlighted, especially in light of written evidence challenging the credibility of prior denials by the Prime Minister. The article underscores the importance of consistency in condemning misconduct, regardless of political affiliation, and notes the hypocrisy and reactions from Liberal Party ministers and lawmakers towards the former Speaker versus Justin Trudeau.